Hello everyone, how are you today? It's K. So this is the 8th of November and this is on Monday. So I hope you're having a great day today. So uh, this is Monday, the market is kind of quiet. So instead of doing the analysis, I decided to share my impression, my thoughts on how you can improve on your trades. Because uh, this is a very important topic because that this will be the backbone on whoever trade in the future. And there are reasons why people still cannot be profitable and people can be profitable. There is a big difference and there is a, a you know, a clear image in myself of how to become a profitable trader. So um, I will talk about that topic today. So before starting here, as a quick disclaimer, as usual, this content is based on my experience knowledge. So when you take trades, please do add your own risk. Okay, so, uh, so I have been trading for the last eight years now. Time flies, eight years is a long time, but I feel it's a very, very short eight years. And, uh, but somehow I'm still surviving in the market as a pro trader, full-time trader, and um, I can live myself with this trading job. So trading is my main source of income and uh, right now I do YouTube, I do some services, but trading is my main source of income. So uh, I will tell you the essence of how I have been a profitable trader. You know, you can win one or two trades with a good luck, but uh, the question is how you can keep winning and keep being profitable in the long run. So in this video, I will talk about that topic. So, um, yeah, so where to start? So uh, one of the impressions or one of the thoughts recently I feel when I see the chat on the, on the, on the live stream is that the, uh, you know, I'm happy to, of course, first of all, I'm happy to do the live streams and videos like this every day on my YouTube channel. But my question is, do you really learn from my words, from my analysis? Because, um, you know, I really want everybody to be profitable, be a great trader in, in the future. So uh, that's why I do this. But sometimes I feel, do, do you really understand the concept of being becoming a non-losing trader or becoming a profitable trader because sometimes i get the questions like uh so can you can you look at the usdjpy can you look at euro usd can you look at gold or a couple of other markets or sometimes uh you know people say i took the entry here at this level and i put the stops here and i expect the market go down but what was your thought what would be your thought like that and like I mentioned before, I'm happy to answer these comments and questions, but my question is, do you really learn from my words? And in order to learn from my own words, from my analysis, uh, in my opinion, is to think about yourself, to think yourself and trade yourself and exit yourself. Uh, and because this is the only way to learn how to trade in a profitable manner in the long run. Um, and this is the reason why I don't offer copy trade because if, you, if I offer copy trade, you can trade like I do, but uh, you know there might be a slight difference in terms of execution timing and exit timing. And of course, the count side is different. So uh, we're not the same everybody. So sometimes it might be difficult to exactly follow my trades. So that's why, and also copy trading is not fun because you don't learn yourself. So like I mentioned on the previous videos and live streams, my true intention is to help you become a non-losing trader. As I state over here, help you, be, help you become a non-losing trader. And I really want you to know how to fish 
in the ocean. I don't want to give the fish, but I, do, I want you to really fish yourself on the ocean and get lots of fish to bring it back home. So, and this process is very, very fun, especially once you get used to it, it becomes very much fun. So it's like driving a car. Uh, so when you first drive a car, you, you have many indicators, many information around and uh, you, you, you kind of difficult, you feel difficult in how to operate the car. But once you get used to it, it becomes a norm and you just go around, you just take a ride and go to destination so easily. So, uh, and yeah, this is exactly what happened when I came to Dubai first time. The rules, the rules and rules are different. Uh, the size we're driving is different in Japan, Dubai. So now I'm kind of used to it, used to driving in Dubai. But uh, when I first drove that car, you know, it took me. So I was going to one. Of, I was going to one of the shops nearby. It's it's about like 20 minutes by car, and I rent a car and drove first time to that shop, and it took me three hours to get there. Only 20 minutes ride if you know the road, if you know how to, you know, how to go. But, uh, you know, uh, in Dubai, you know, let's say navigation says exit. And I was planning to exit, but when I came at the exit, there are many exits. So I was like, which one to pick? And I picked the one and turns out that that's not the, that's not the right exit. And I had to go all the way. To like a 20, 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes, and make a U turn and come back. And when I come back, the navigation says exit here, and I see multiple exits, and I took the wrong exit, and I went there. <laughs> so uh, that was a bit challenging. So it took me three hours to get there. Now I can get there in 20 minutes. But like this, trading is the same. Trading the same. Like uh, once you get used to it, and once you get used to your own strategy and also your own way of thinking about the markets and analysis in the market, then you will never lose. This is a lifetime skill and once you acquire the skill, then no one can take it. And that is the beauty about these skills, especially in, in the trading. Because uh, if you have laptop, internet, and simply you can trade at anywhere in the world, so this is lifetime skill and this becomes a true potential in your life on whatever you do in the future. But before that, you have to be a non-losing trader. So non-losing trader is a key to success and that is because once you become a non-losing trader, that means you have a good risk management. So to evaluate how to become a non-losing trader, you have to trade at least 100 trades. Do at least 100 trades and then see the performance. If you are break-even then, then you can claim yourself as a break-even trader. So 100 trades can be either backtesting by, for example, Forex Tester 5, and, or you can trade real trades, 100 trades for the next maybe half a year or one year, and then see the performance. And if it's at break even, then that means you have a risk management. But you have to see more details in numbers like profit factor, drawdown, and win rate, and so on. But uh, in number wise, by profit or loss, if it's break even, then that's already good enough. But uh, coming back to so coming back to today's today's point, uh, my question is: Do you really understand and do you really, really learn? on what I say, because um, like this, if you want to become a non-losing trader, then you have to learn yourself too. And this is also based on my experience. And let me just give you one big tip about how to become, how to, uh, how to improve your trades. And that is to track your own records, to track your own trades in the past. So, just take out the spreadsheet or you can just uh, put the note 
uh, you can just prepare the note or prepare a notepad and uh, write your trace. Every single trace you write. So what you write is you write first of all the the market name like Euro USD, the name of the pair, name of the market, and also day and time when you took that trade. And whether to buy or sell, you take you took it, and also uh, the price level, entry price level, you put it down, and stop loss and stop loss pips and stop loss price level, you put down and lot sizing or uh, trade size, you put put it down. So that will be the whole information at the time of the entry. And also, I recommend you to capture screenshot at the time of the entry. And then so that you when you look back you see exactly where you traded and then after a while you will exit with either loss or win and when you exit then you put down the number on exit and you see the result whether it's a loss or win and if it's a, if it's a loss then calculate a drawdown on that particular trade or if that's a win then simply put down how many pips you gain and that will be the whole result. And once you exit, then take a screenshot also on the exit uh, exit timing and also save it for your record. And also, you have to write your emotion at the time of the entry and exit. Are you felt at the time of entry? Are you rush into the market? Are you comfortable? Are you a bit scared? Are you a bit uh, concerned about the entry? Or you're not focusing on the entry like that you put down the impression and also afterwards after exit you also put down like uh, uh how you felt on that trade was it d did you satisfy on that trade or um uh, also what you learned on that trade so maybe you could have exited a bit earlier timing so if you think that then you just put down as a note with a exit screenshot and save and then every time you trade you do this you put down these numbers information screenshots and comments and then after a month of trade you look back on the next month and you will learn a lot by this way you will learn a lot basically so uh, because what you learn is first of all you will be learning your uh, losing pattern so let's say out of let's say 20 trades on the month uh you will have the losing pattern so like every time the market is like let's say flat ranging in the higher time frame and you enter every time and you tend to lose but every time you're on the trend direction then you your losing rate is much much less you might find that stats or uh, when you exit, uh, like uh, you will, you might see like some exit patterns. Like uh, when there is a big spike in the market, then that's when you every time exit with a stop loss. And if you find it, then next time or next month, you better not to hold the position before there's a big spike in the market. Before the news, for example, you better close the trade or you have to move it to break even and then you uh, practice next month like that so you will see these kind of losing patterns and this is very very important and this is only for you i can talk about some losing patterns but unless you see it you can't believe it in your heart and everybody's different every trader is different in nature so uh, i have my losing pattern i have my winning pattern but it might be different from yours so you have to find your own winning pattern, losing pattern, and the best way to find it out is to track your record on the spreadsheet or the notepad and see the result overall. So um, yeah, so once again, coming back to the topic, I'm really happy to do this YouTube channel and to be able to share my analysis and experience and views of the market. But the question is, do you learn from my words so my suggestion for you is before you ask me 
to look at some market analysis, uh, please think your scenario in your head. So do you think it's a bullish or bearish? Do you think it's a range? And why do you think so? Why do you think it's bullish? Why do you think it's bearish? Why do you think it's a range? And when you're about to take a trade, then what will be the reasons you take the trade? You think about it in your head before you ask me. And in this way, this will be a best learning process for yourself. And after some while, if you hear me, hear my answer. And if you, uh, once you like, uh, once you see if it matches on your scenario analysis is mine or not, then uh, you will, you can practice like this and uh, you will get the sense of how I see the market and that will be the way to become a non-losing, to become a profitable trader in the future. So yeah, please do take advantage of the chat and I'm happy to receive any questions and comments, but uh, please focus on these quality comments, quality questions in the future so that that will be the best learning for you and also everybody on the live stream or videos in the future on my YouTube channel. So yeah, so that's, uh, that was a brief comment and brief thoughts that I thought about today. So that's why I wanted to share in the video today. So thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please press the like button. And also uh, I will be happy to see you on the next live stream or video session. So until then, please practice, please continue to practice and please keep disciplining yourself every time you trade and exit so that I will help you to become a non-losing trader in the future as it stays here. All right, so once again, Thank you for joining and thank you for watching. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.